team builder is here in college football 25 and i'm gonna show you exactly how to create your own team and get them in the game so if you do go uh, to the game right here you'll start on the home screen scroll over to create and share go to the download center and you're gonna see a bunch of uh created teams i believe jesus christ it is dark in here i believe these are all ea created right here but if you search you are going to see a ton of user created teams I don't know if we can sort this brand anyways you can go in here download any of them and then back out go to your download history you'll see them over here this dude got 80 downloads already that is insane bro and then once you would download one of those you would go over to your dynasty start one up make sure it is a cloud you cannot use team builder in uh under the single player any roster and then import team builder right here now you do have to replace a team but you know in my opinion a team like georgia southern uh like northern iowa for example now this dude obviously he didn't care about the roster that much so it's an 84 overall so i would keep the georgia southern roster uh, I don't know if that's bugged or not showing me that it's an 84 or if they even have the Georgia Southern roster. I don't know. But that's what you would do. You would just replace the team and start up your dynasty. And now we're back to the PC. What you're going to want to do is go to this website right here. It's going to be the top link in the description. Very top link above the link tree even. It's going to be the very top link. I believe you have to have a PC if you want to do this. I don't think uh, mobile can even load up this part of the site. So you would click get started and it would take you to this screen right here. It would have a bunch of EA logos. Now you would start on this screen, type in your school info, whatever you want to be like named. So team name, I would say that's like Michigan and then team nickname would be like Wolverines. You know what I mean? So for this one i use drake and then bulldogs totally a made up team by the way um because you can't technically use fcs teams in here because it says reserved and that is exactly why this name right here is spelled the way it is because if i try to do it normally it says sorry drake bulldogs is a reserved name please try another name so it's a little bit weird spelling it's whatever so and then you go down to your logos uh there's all of these ones that are created by ea they're practically uh the madden expansion teams or uh, relocated teams uh logos and you can't edit the colors of these while some of these are cool uh i would definitely suggest uploading your own now whenever uploading your own you have to make sure that it is uh, a png format which basically means like it's a transparent background uh you don't want like a white block in the background or something it would just look really weird um and then you gotta make sure it's not offensive does not infringe uh any like copyright or anything no weird ass photos bro i guarantee they got filters in here that'll ban that so and once you have all those you select a primary logo right here so i'm gonna select uh like this one and hit apply lock it in and then secondary logo go over here you can switch them around see right there select this one hit apply and i'm not even gonna attempt to say this tear tear terry tear tear anyways uh you all i just selected that one and then the colors i would suggest um if your colors are an exact representation of your logo then i would just select from primary logo and you can actually move these around they auto select for you but if you take this little circle you can drag it around change the color i'm gonna keep it on that blue this two is kind of in that white right there and then the three is down here in the gray so hit there and apply don't mess with any of that apparel brand we got adidas nike and under armor um i'm actually gonna switch this to adidas it is default uh nike and then fonts down here you can um 
select the font i don't know uh, this just looks more bold uh, i like that a lot more and then number font uh look at that one we'll try that one we'll try that one I you can always change these later and i'm gonna just save make sure if anything crashes that i'm not completely screwed and then uniforms uh these are pretty in depth i'm gonna basically just explain how to overdo it and then i'm gonna like speed run uh myself doing this so base color you know just select a color it turns out you can rotate this helmet all around you can see the inside if you really wanted to you can add stripes the stripes would be this one color one is the inside color two is the outside custom layers this is if you would want like a your logo on the helmet delete the aa logos bro they're so annoying I, I don't know why i get why they're defaultly on there but also it's just it's a waste bro it's a waste of space uh numbers i always love putting these numbers on the back uh, they are a little bit big if you do the double stripe so i would mess with this you can move it down up left right i don't know why you would really want to do that though uh, we're just gonna center it back to 1.5 and then your jersey it's gonna be pretty much the same thing pick your color the stitching the design you can have a little design like stripe like that right there on your shoulder and then there's sleeve designs too which are on the side just like that the colors are blended in here so and you see the ea logo once again bro uh, i'm getting that thing off there i would use the stripes if you're not putting a logo on your sleeve right here uh because you definitely can put a logo on your sleeve i'm gonna show you right now say i wanted to put this uh white d actually you can put this white d wherever you want you can put it on the collar the back the sleeve um we'll put it on the right sleeve right here for an example put it on the right sleeve see like the chest you can have it up here and then you can move it up you know all those teams have like writing right here uh for example just like that let's center that to right there and you can scale this not that big but you can scale it a little bit bigger i honestly i like doing the custom scale because whenever they're interlinked together bro it just makes it like it, it's, it's like look at this bro like what is that i'm gonna go ahead and cancel you would hit apply though make sure that saves and then the nameplate you can either have no name on here or you can have a name and then uh numbers see you can change your font here as well uh, i'm gonna go with those ones and this will be my actual spacing definitely suggest a little space right here you can change the color inside i would go matte i don't i don't know why you would want this glossy or chrome even i mean it, it's an option but uh no you can have them on the sleeves the shoulders or none if you would prefer that but I, I like it on the shoulders you can even have it on the shoulders and the sleeves but i feel like that's overdoing it and the pants are pretty uh pretty basic here so I'll just go white um, i don't know what this be saying with a1 with shard i don't really know it, it doesn't change that much see it just changes like that elastic right there makes it less visible so um yeah I'll, I'll i would i would say this one and then the uh the socks you'd go to the base color which is the sock the brand color which is if there's a logo on the socks and then the undersock color so i mean i might keep that black um then you hit preview uniform right there you can see how the uniform looks that you put together in full and then it's the same exact way for a way so i'm not gonna go through that one then we go over to stadium and you can choose any stadium in the game and it's going to be fully rebranded to your college so for this one in particular i'm trying to go a really really small one like charlotte charlotte's actually probably a good fit for this one but i don't know if i'm gonna go with that one you can choose any stadium and you customize the crowd you customize the surface the field you customize almost everything to it except the actual stadium syracuse is good if you want a dome if you want a dome syracuse is probably the best bet it's probably the only dome actually you know what for mine i'm gonna go with western kentucky i like the little like suites up here the little club seats i like that 
All right, and then you go over here on the left to the crowd, uh, which is basically just like the shirts that they're wearing. So if you're like an assistant's blue and white, you can uh, color balance if you want it mainly to be wearing like white jerseys and white shirts, or if you mainly want it to be wearing blue. Uh, I'd go more on the blue side for this one because, you know, the white out is for Penn State, you know what I'm saying? And you can change the surface type if you want turf, if you want grass, if you want it natural, if you want to do a custom color, if you want a black field for some reason, if you want a, a purple field, you can mess around with this. If you want a purple field, you know, you can do whatever you want. But me, I'm st definitely sticking natural. Uh, I like this color, but turf... Turf just changed the texture a little bit. And then you can choose your midfield logos and see these. Now you can kind of like change the color on them right here. But of course, I'm using my custom logo. So that's what I'm throwing in the middle. Apply. Now you can do advanced placement, but I feel like that's a really good size already. So then secondary logos, you can do secondary logos, but you can't do custom secondary logos so in that case i'm turning them off and then here's your custom layers if you want to add in uh some end zone logos okay, and then you move on to your end zones you can do like a checkered like a partial checkered you can do a full checkered and you can do this other checkered you can do the lines colored lines just a solid color or whatever this is looks like some barbed wire like uh this is kind of crazy bro i don't know but uh for me i'm gonna just leave them grass actually scratch that i'm gonna do the full colored i'm gonna do the blue in the end zone the numbers you can actually change the font to these oh uh, that looks kind of weird that looks kind of weird varsity and ea is probably gonna be your best bet uh kind of like varsity we'll go varsity we'll go the fill color white outline color that's like that little outline right there you can slightly see it and then the field lines um 100 white i don't know why you would go anything else but i mean you can and then custom colors on the 20 yard line this is like the red zone marking um they're usually red so i'm gonna, I'm gonna go with a red here and then the sideline is this that um like you can paint around it pretty much you hit view all there's a lot of different options and there's like that one there's this just go through the options select the one you like best uh, the one that i went with is this one down here uh the middle fourth row i guess you would say uh i kind of like that one too but i feel like the outside is too thick so i'm going with this one and the bench type which is basically just the outline of the benches um you can make them small you can make them some weird box like that you can make them a big old color box a big old checkered box um i'm gonna just i'm gonna go with uh these ones actually scratch that i'm going with this one the uh the second one right here i don't like i like this one. Hey, i forgot you can change the stadium name i forgot to do that and for mine since we are drake university i'm gonna just go to Drake stadium SD of 22,000 and here we are so customize all that and then you go to program and you can customize the playbook uh for some reason I really like UCF so I'm gonna go UCF and defense I usually run a 4-3 so I'm gonna keep it that way and then you can actually decide your preset roster so you can go spread powerhouse which you're gonna have a really really good team if you go powerhouse ground attack air it out average joes um average shows this Jalen mean kid is like on every single team uh, but you can go through you can customize you cannot customize the name it's that's that's really disappointing um because a lot of people wanted to customize the names and like put your boys on there or something you know put them put them all on the same team put yours like self on the team but you can change numbers you can change the hand the year that they're in the weight the height as short as five foot as tall as six eight which is crazy can you imagine like a five foot corner running around you can change like the faces and everything bro you can you can change so many things i'm gonna go back do my uniforms and uh i'll check with y'all once we submit
All right, I just got done with some alternate jerseys. Here is a blue color rush. Thing is really, really clean. And then I just named this one Friday. I don't know why. But I just went like an all gray color rush. I don't know if I like it or not. I do like the helmet a lot though, with that with that logo. But I'm not too sure. Once you are fully done with your program, you can go in, edit all the roster if you would like to. You would go and hit submit. And once you hit this, it lets you preview the whole entire team. Preview the roster, preview the field. Uh, previewing the roster gives you a better like idea of what your uh, team overall is going to be. So this QB right here, Ross Bailey, is 76 speed, 89 throw power. So these average Joe, 91. These average Joes might be a little better than I'm thinking. All right, I'm finally going to go ahead and submit this team to Drake. Bulldogs, it says we're a five star, bro. Oh no. I hope we truly are not a five star. Forgot about the webcam. <laughs> oh, it's so, it's just loading, generating everything, transferring everything from this website directly into your game. Uploading all the images. We'll give this a second. And right after you upload, it says team was successfully submitted. Drake. Des Moines so then you would go back to your game here go to the download center go to my sharings that you do not even have to restart your game you are already uploaded and you're already in I'm gonna I wonder if I can search this to see the overall real quick okay so here we are in the average Joe's looks to be about a 79 overall which, I mean, it's not too bad, it is pretty mid, but for a brand new team, I would like it to be lower, so I'm gonna see what I can do. Alright, so here we are, the Drake Bulldogs. I don't know why the home field isn't loading in the preview, but we do have it all set. We are a 72 overall, I switched it to uh, Cupcake, I believe was the team preset, I wanna say, I wanna say it was Cupcake. You made it this far in the video, you deserve to know. The lowest overall team that you can possibly do for the preset is cupcake so i believe the second lowest is average shows which is 79 i went ahead we got this on here here we are in the game with the drake bulldogs that i've created the same exact stadium the logo on the field the jerseys look real real good bro all right and if you guys would like to show some love download my team that i made right here drake university and uh, just search up Drake in the search. Uh, this logo, it's the biggest size logo because there are a couple other ones just like this one. It's the biggest size and it has Desla with all those H's under it. That is it for this one. If y'all could show some love, get this one a like. Make sure to follow the Twitch man, the socials on top of the screen up that way. The link tree with all my socials will be in the link down below as well. Right under the link for the EA team builder. And uh, yeah, man, I'm out.